Welcome to Pedagogy Pilates. I'm Megan Tabak, and I am a high school PE teacher, and I've had a Pilates program in my high school for, this is the 13th year, and uh, we teach it for a semester, and I teach the kids how to teach some mat work, and I'm hoping that I can spread some mat work to you. I am a PMA CPT, which means I'm certified through the Pilates Meth Alliance, and CPT stands for Certified Pilates Teacher. So let's talk about what Pilates is. So it's a unique exercise system, and the purpose is to align and stabilize the body, strengthen your muscles, increase flexibility, and improve your overall health. It was created by Joseph Hubertus Pilates, and he originally called it body controlology, and he created it in the late 1800s. So mat Pilates is what we're going to learn about today, and it's a series of low-impact movements. They're safe, they're appropriate for all people, all ages, all fitness levels, as long as they're modified correctly. Pilates is also done on what we call apparatus. There is the reformer, the Cadillac, the chair, the ladder barrel, the arc barrel, the pedipole, the guillotine, um, a pegboard. We can use all kinds of cool stuff. Most of the equipment was invented by Joseph Pilates himself as well, and he created the apparatus to help people who were struggling with uh, the mat work. So what are some benefits of Pilates? Well, it strengthens your core. And when we say core, we mean everything but your arms, your legs, and your head, the center of you, like the core of an apple. Pilates improves your balance and your flexibility. Like any exercise regime, it decreases stress and improves your coordination. So there's a lot of focus on how we move prior to movement. So proper body alignment and core engagement prior to any movement, and that is what really helps improve your coordination. Um, it also increases stability and allows you to strengthen your body and improve your performance really quickly in a safe and effective way. Pilates focuses on the stabilization and mobilization of the spine, as well as the pelvis, and each exercise uses the mind to control the body. So, as I said, body controlology, was the original name of Pilates. It was changed to Pilates after Joseph Pilates passed away in 1967. And we focus on the breath, proper form, proper muscle engagement, and precise movement. The principles of Pilates are concentration, control, precision, fluidity, center, and breath. And we use those in every movement that we do. So Pilates focus is core engagement and spinal alignment prior to movement. So how you move is as important as the movement you're doing. And it's more important to do less and do things correctly than it is to kind of throw your body around on the floor and use momentum. So Pilates and PE, we should all know the definition of physical literacy. It's the ability to move with confidence and confidence. Pilates gives you confidence and confidence. It helps you walk better on your own two feet. In a wide variety of physical activities, in multiple environments that benefit the healthy development of a whole person. You can do Pilates whether you're a fifth grader or whether you're 95. It's something that people can do for their whole life and it's just gonna benefit them by learning to move, move safely, effectively, and kind of realign you so you have better posture and helps um, just make you safer in your own self. In a recent study, six weeks of Pilates done in a physical education class, so just Pilates for six weeks, they met twice a week for an hour, improved student self-esteem, body composition, so body fat and body mass index, and core strength. So it does help our kids. There are five fundamentals, and you're gonna see a brief video about them shortly. The first one is neck lengthening. So you wanna make sure your neck is in line with the rest of your spine, or, or cranial vertebral flexion. Uh, the cervical portion of the complete lengthening of the spine, that's what neck lengthening is. So you wanna align the ears over the shoulders, bring your chin to your chest just a little, and when you're standing in, your ears should be above the shoulders. You should have that same alignment when you're lying prone, you're lying supine, you're lying on your side. So we want to keep the cervical spine in line with the thoracic spine during flexion, extension, lateral flexion, and rotation, creating a long line from head to tail in every movement that we do. 
the second fundamental is scapular retraction and depression. So mostly depression. You want to think about shoulders down and depending on your posture, your body, you may need to pull them slightly back as well, but down first, moving everything away from me in the ears, imagining that you had oranges underneath the armpits and you're squeezing the juice out as you pull the shoulders away from the ears. So your shoulders move in a lot of different ways. They elevate, they depress, they protract, they retract, and they can rotate up or down. So scapular stabilization prevents initiating movement from your neck and overextending your cervical spine, and it's a part of all the exercises we do in Pilates. Ribs in and down. So your ribs are connected to your 12 thoracic vertebra, and they're part of the thoracic stabilization of the spine. You're going to engage your obliques and the front and the sides and engage the serratus anterior and back, your lats and your middle traps, and keep your ribs connected to your hips front and back, whether you're lying supine or moving the arms. Um, if you lift your left arm up, put your right hand on your ribs, you'll notice as your arm moves up towards the ceiling, your ribs sort of pop out, and we want to keep that from happening when we do Pilates. So if you imagine yourself kind of wearing a corset, keeping everything in, and that helps to stabilize. Um, and when we are moving or when our mobilization is fine, we have that control. So if you put your hands on your rib cage, you take a deep breath in through your nose and you exhale and the ribs will come in and down. Also coughing and laughing um, are a good way to notice the movement of the ribs and getting them in proper alignment. The next one is the scoop. So we scoop our abdominals. We pull everything in and up. Like if someone took an ice cream scoop and they started at your pubic bone and they moved up towards your rib cage, they hollowed you out from the middle. So it's the abdominal portion of the complete stabilization of the spine. And you're engaging your transverse abdominus, a little bit of pelvic floor as well. And that's to stabilize the lower portion of your thoracic spine and your lumbar spine. So we're getting real deep, transverse abdominus, deepest layer of abdominal muscles. And to scoop, we pull the pubic bone towards the um, tailbone and the hip, uh, the sit bones in and up, kind of like um, you're zipping up a pair of jeans you haven't put on since the fifth grade. And depending on how young your students are, you may have said they haven't worn jeans since they were two. But getting them to understand that they're pulling in and up and it's a part of every exercise that we do. We always are scooping. And next we have the breath. So we had neck lengthening, shoulders down, ribs in, abs scooped, and now we are breathing. Breathing is a part of every single exercise. We start with an inhale and an exhale and we do that throughout the movement. We use the breath to generate core power during the exhale and spinal stabilization during the inhale. So it, we want it to be deep and complete and really fill the lungs. But we want to make sure that we're breathing um, lateral, lateral costally, lateral costal breathing. That's a better way to put that. And so you inhale and imagine your rib cage opening out to the side like an accordion and exhale, bring your ribs back in. Unlike yoga where we kind of fill the belly, fill the chest, we want to avoid that in Pilates. Okay, so normal breathing allows the belly to expand, but we want to make sure, as I said, that we are still keeping the ribs and hips connect and keeping the scoop, which will force us to go into that lateral costal breath. <clears throat> breathing properly helps to avoid unnecessary muscle tension, and it activates the deep support muscles. We inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. It's a forceful exhalation, so you want to make sure that you shh or or just breathe out the mouth. That can be kind of fun in class as well. So we're gonna move on to the five fundamentals and I'm gonna switch screens here for you. I had a little trouble earlier, so let's get to this where we can actually see it. And we are going to hopefully make that, oh yay, there we go. So here are the fundamentals for PE and so I'm here to talk about just Shoulders, and sitting, and then lower back. The 
second fundamental is um, to question the scapula. So you're going to pull your shoulders down and away from your ears. That's pretty much it. Just making sure that you are engaging your lats a little bit to do so. Number three is ribs in and out. And I'm going to walk you and show you that one. I'm going to come down to the mat. See my rib cage here. And I want to see my arms in the back and my ribs pop up. So in Pilates, we want to stay in a range of motion. Stay in and down. So if you place your hands on your rib cage, you can take a breath in through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Shh. You'll notice that my rib cage is shifting. So now I'm going to align my ears with my shoulders, pull my shoulders away from my ears, and take my ribs in and down as I breathe to lengthen the spine. So if you imagine your spine like the foundation of a house or all these bricks are in a row, and so you want to start to the foundation of the body stronger in order to be able to serve all of so we have the neck lengthening, the shoulders down, the ribs in. Next thing we're going to do is smooth the abdominals. So you're going to engage your transverse abdominals. So you can imagine that you're working on a pair of jeans. You have your foot in the seventh grade. And you can tell whether or not you're engaging your transverse abdominals by placing your hands on your abdomen. And I'll get a little pause. You can see that the rectus abdominis is over and sticking up a little bit. And when I do engage my transverse abdominis, stomach is a lot flatter than that. So we're trying to get more of a transverse. So we have our chin tucked, our shoulders down, our ribs in our abs scooped. And the last thing we're going to do is our arm raises in through the spine. So if you're sitting at your hips, if you're going to help it still, creating any space between your lower back and the mat, you're creating a nice long line from head to tail. And really this is not going to touch the back of the head. And depending on people's postural deviations, whether they have or if you're lying, you have scoliosis, you may need to use a pillow or some little props to help them find this alignment. So moving right along, this is not where we want to go. So bear with me. Some technical glitches, if you will. There we go. And let's go back here to our five fundamentals. And you'll notice I just added imprint. And when I talk about imprint, that's just to help keep the back long and give people support. Now, I didn't talk about breathing. And breathing, as I said, you're going to inhale in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth, and make sure that you are. <clears throat> engaging. So we're going to move on to warm-ups. So when we do warm-up exercise in Pilates, there are two actually reinforce the five fundamentals. So neck lengthening is actually one of the warm-ups. Elevation depression of the scapula is a warm-up. Protraction and retraction of the scapula is a warm-up. Arm scissors is a warm-up. Arm circles. So neck lengthening helps keep your neck in alignment. Elevation depression helps keep the shoulders down and back. Protraction and retraction, shoulders down and back. Arm scissors, ribs in and down. Arm circles, shoulders down and ribs in. Imprint and neutral, that's alignment of the pelvis and that helps to engage the transverse abdominis as well. Bridging is just moving through the spine, articulating vertebra by vertebra. Single leg lifts, you're isolating your movements, not muscles, which Pilates is isolating the movement. So when we lift weights, sometimes we're like, this exercise is for biceps, triceps, quads. We don't do that in Pilates. We isolate the whole movement. So <clears throat> if you're doing single leg lifts, which you'll see in the video, the idea is the legs move and they disassociate from the rest of the body and they're moving independently with nothing else in the, in the body changing. The legs move, everything else stays in control. And last on this list is hip release and we stabilize the pelvis while we're moving the legs. So let's go back to YouTube and um, watch the warm up video. Inhale up. Exhale drop. Oh, that's funky. Sorry about that, guys. Let's start at the beginning. Pilates warm ups. The first one we're going to do is elevation and depression of the scapula. So you're going to lie on your mat. You're going to stay flat on the floor about an inch of part for a few seconds. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down, and inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down. 
So now you're going to maintain that back of the your shoulders down. Take a second, connect your ribs and hips front and back. Put your abs in like this and your front pants. So you have an orange hip because this is seventh grade. Next one we're going to do is neck lifting. Inhale as you drop your chin a little closer to your chest without lifting the hip off the mat. Exhale, release to neutral. Inhale, drop your chin a little closer to your chest. Exhale, release to neutral. Inhale, drop your chin a little closer to your chest. Exhale, release to neutral. Inhale, drop your chin a little closer to your chest. Exhale, release to neutral. Inhale, drop your chin. Exhale, release to neutral. Inhale, drop your chin. Exhale, release to neutral one more time. Inhale, drop your chin. Exhale, release to neutral. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing in, your shoulders away from your ears. Now you're going to have a lift in your neck. Connect your ribs and hips to engage your abs. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, let your shoulders drop. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. And inhale up. Exhale, drop. Think about your rib cage staying in and down as you move your arms scissors. Next exercise. Inhale. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. Exhale, scissor. circles. Inhale, circle out. Exhale, in. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. Inhale, out. Exhale, in. And inhale, out. Exhale, in. Other direction. Exhale, in. And inhale, out. 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 One more. Exhale, in. And inhale, out. So we're going to do a little hamstring and twist your pelvic tilt. So put your hands on your hip Inhale, make a little space between your back and your mat. Keep your hands parallel to the floor. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under and lower your back to the mat. Make big space between your hip and your mat. Inhale, create big space. Exhale, flatten your back. 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 And inhale, create big space. Exhale, flatten your back. Back to your Spine and you're going to make sure your heels are hands face away from your feet. Arms by your sides. Tuck your chin and your shoulders away from your ears. Connect your ribs and hips. Scoop your pelvis to the edge. Inhale. Exhale. Peel your back up off the mat so your armpits and knees are in the same diagonal line. Inhale. Stay and exhale. Sink down left back and back. Back. Inhale. Exhale. Peel your back up off the mat. Inhale. Stay at the top and exhale. Sink down up and back. Exhale, peel, 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 peel your back up off the mat. Inhale, stay at the top. And exhale, sink down before you let it turn. Inhale, exhale, peel your back up off the mat. Inhale, stay at the top. And exhale, sink down before you let it turn. Inhale, exhale, peel, 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 peel your back up off the mat. Inhale, stay at the top. And exhale, sink down before you let it turn. Inhale, exhale, peel your back up off the mat. Inhale, stay at the top. And exhale, sink down before you let it turn. Inhale, exhale, peel your back up off the mat. Stay at the top and exhale, sink down before you let it turn. Check your alignment. Your shins touch, your shoulders are down, your ribs are in, your abs are scooped. Inhale, exhale, bring your right leg up to the tabletop. Inhale, exhale, bring your left leg up to the tabletop. Inhale, exhale, you lower your right leg. Inhale, exhale, you lower your left leg. Inhale, exhale, you lift your right. Inhale, exhale, you lift your left. Inhale, exhale, you lower your right. Inhale, exhale, you lower your left. Inhale. Exhale as you lift your right. Inhale. Exhale as you lift your left. Inhale. Exhale as you lower your right. Inhale. Exhale as you lower your left. Inhale. Exhale as you lift your right. Inhale. Exhale as you lift your left. Inhale. Exhale as you lower your right. Inhale. Exhale as you lower your left. Last exercise we're going to do today is hip release. Place your hands on your hips if you like. Inhale as you let your right leg fall to the right only as far as it goes without hitting the bottom. Then extend your right leg along the mat. Turn in and inhale as you bring it back up. Exhale, turn out, lengthen, turn in, and inhale up, and exhale, turn out, lengthen, turn in, now go the other direction, exhale, turn in, lengthen, turn out, and inhale up, exhale, turn in, lengthen, turn out, and inhale up, one more, exhale, turn in, lengthen, turn out, and inhale up, okay, exhale, turn out, lengthen, turn in, and inhale up, exhale, turn out, lengthen, turn in, and inhale up, exhale, turn out, Turn in, now go the other direction. Exhale, turn in, lengthen, turn out, and inhale up. Exhale, turn in, lengthen, turn out, and inhale up. And exhale, turn in, lengthen, turn out, and inhale up. It's just a few.
few Pilates warm-ups. Okay, bear with me as I deal with technology. And okay, how do I make this stop? Don't do this. Nope, nope. Pause. Sorry about that, you guys. And let's head back to our PowerPoint and away from there. So here we go. Back to our slideshow. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Oh, we went back to the beginning. Okay, so let's move through and get back to where we are. We learned what is Pilates, we learned the benefits, the focus, the five fundamentals. We watched our video. We talked about the warm ups. So these are the ones that you saw neck lengthening, elevation, depression of the scapula, protraction, retraction of the scapula, arm scissors, arm circles, imprint and neutral, bridging, single leg lifts, and hip release. So moving right along, I um, went to an elementary school last year with my students and we worked on teaching the elementary school students Pilates. So I teach the students in my program how to teach Pilates mat work and they have to teach the class to pass the class. Just a few exercises and they put together a whole class with a group and it has to um, have flexion, extension, lateral flexion and rotation. So we went to an elementary school down the street and we played with some Pilates there and we came up with a little idea called Joe Goes to the Beach. And I'm gonna have that video for you now so you can see how that works out. And hopefully it'll start at the beginning. Sweet. To the beach, he would do certain things. So first, when you first get to the beach, some things you might do, especially if you go early in the morning and watch the sunrise, is raise your shoulders up and down. And we inhale to raise the shoulders up and exhale to drop them down. Inhale up and exhale down and inhale up and exhale down and inhale up and exhale down. We might want to move the shoulders forward and back. So you're going to inhale and reach forward. Exhale, move the shoulders back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. And inhale forward, exhale back. Then we might want to do some arm circles. Inhale, circle out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Two more. Inhale out and exhale in. One more. Inhale out and exhale in. Let me put the other one. Exhale in and inhale out. Exhale in and inhale out. Exhale in and inhale out. Two more. Exhale in and inhale out. Very good. So we've moved a little bit. We're ready to go at the beach. And the next thing we're going to do is scissor our arms. So we have a little more warm-up to do to get ready to swim in the ocean. So take your arms out in front of you and inhale. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, center. And exhale, scissor. And inhale, center. So now that we're all warmed up at the beach, we're ready to go ahead and jump into the water. So we're going to swim. Lie on your belly, extend your arms out, open your legs and turn out a little bit. Take an inhale, exhale, and inhale, lift your arms, your legs, and your head, and start fluttering your hands and feet, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, flutter, 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 and we are splitting at the beach. You're inhaling for five counts and exhaling for five counts. So inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, hold it, and exhale, relax. Now, what else are we going to do at the beach? A little bit of breaststroke, maybe, in the water. So bring your legs together, arms by your sides, palms down next to your chest, pull your shoulders back like a grasshopper, head is floating, ears in line with your shoulders. Exhale, reach your arms forward, stretch out for that breaststroke, and inhale. Sweep and lift your chest. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, sweep and lift. 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 Exhale, reach forward. And inhale, sweep and lift. Something else you might do at the beach is play volleyball. So we are going to roll like a ball. Sit and rock side to side, feeling the bones in your bottom, and then sit slightly behind them. Pick your legs up, rest your hands on your knees, make your back round like the bottom of a boat, 
So you can roll and inhale as you roll back, exhale as you roll up and balance. Inhale, roll back, exhale, roll up and balance. Inhale, roll back, exhale, roll up and balance. Inhale, roll back, exhale up. Inhale back, exhale up. Inhale back, exhale up. And inhale back, and exhale up. What else would we see at the beach? Well, not so much in Florida, but you might see them in California, are seals. So the next exercise is called the seal. Bring your feet together, grab hold above or below your ankles, and once again, balance behind the bones of your bottom. Inhale, roll back and clap. One, two, three. Exhale, roll up and clap. One, two, three. Inhale, roll back and clap. One, two, three. And exhale, roll up and clap. One, two, three. Inhale, roll back and clap. One, two, three. Exhale, roll up and clap. One, two, three. Inhale, roll back and clap. One, two, three. And exhale, roll up and clap. One, two, three. Okay. What else are some things we would see at the beach? A starfish. So, turn your knees towards the front of your mat. Lift your top knee to the ceiling. Pop your back foot around. Place your hand on top of your knee. And inhale, lift up like a star. So you're like a starfish. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift up like a star. Exhale, come down one more time. And inhale, lift up like a star. Exhale, come down. Then switch sides. And turn your knees to the front of your mat. Lift your top knee up. Tuck your foot around the back. Place your hand on top of your knee. And inhale, come up into a starfish. Exhale, come down. Inhale, starfish. Exhale, down one more time. Inhale, starfish. And exhale, come down. What are some other things we'll find at the beach here in Florida? Shells. So the next Pilates exercise that works for the beach is shell stretch. Sit back on your heels, bring your arms by your sides, and place your forehead on the mat. This may look similar to child's pose from yoga, but you want to think about pulling your shoulders away from your ears and pulling your belly off your thighs, breathing into the back of your ribcage. That's what makes it different. So we're going to hang out here, take a couple breaths as a shell. Good job. Moving right along, <clears throat> what else would we see at the beach in Florida? Well, in Florida in the summertime, we get a whole lot of rain. So we see rainbows. So you're going to come back. You need to front that just like you did for the starfish, but scoot your feet a little bit away and make sure your hand, the side of your hip or your greater trochanter, and your, your feet are on an imaginary line. We're going to go up like a rainbow. So inhale up into your rainbow. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up into your rainbow. Exhale, come down. One more time. Inhale, up into your rainbow. And exhale, come down. Go ahead and switch sides. Stack the knees. Hook the bottom foot around. Give yourself a little more room. And inhale, rainbow. Exhale, down. Inhale, rainbow. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, rainbow. And exhale, down. So what else do we find at the beach? Well, we have to take snacks. So what is really good to have at the beach? Popcorn. So this is a modification of our 100 exercise called popcorn. Hug your knees into your chest. Pull your forehead up into your knees. Take a breath. Exhale. Extend the legs, tap the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, so you pop like pop popcorn. Exhale, pop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're right back in. Pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're right in. Pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're right in. Pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're right in. And pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're right in. And pop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're very good popcorn. And my abs hurt, so I'm not so hungry anymore. Okay, what else might you see at a beach here in Florida? A helicopter. So sit up nice and tall, legs straight, or crisscross at the sauce. Arms extended, and we're gonna move like our helicopter. Drop your shoulders, grow tall, and exhale as you twist, twist, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist, twist. Twist, inhale, center, exhale, twist, 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 inhale, center, exhale, twist, 
pivot, pivot, and you have center. Exhale, pivot, 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 and in you have center. When you come to the beach, you might see some people working out, and they might do a few push-ups. So you're going to stand up at the back of your mat. Inhale, go tall. Exhale, roll down. Walk out to a nice, strong plank. You can put your knees down if you want to, or stay here. Place my knees down. Inhale, down, 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 and exhale up. Inhale, down, 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 exhale up. And inhale, down, 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 exhale up. Tuck your toes, lift your legs up, walk yourself back, roll on up, inhale, exhale, roll down, walk it out, one, two, three, and four, exhale, stay, drop the knees if you need to, inhale, down, 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 and exhale, up, inhale, down, 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 and exhale, up, and inhale, down, 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 and exhale, up, inhale, walk it back, exhale, roll it up. After a long day at the beach, we're pretty tired and kind of stuck into the sand. So the last exercise we're going to do is called the roll-up. So lie back on your beach mat, extend your legs, squeeze them together, reach your arms back behind you. Inhale, lift your arms up, and exhale as you roll up and stretch down your toes a little bit. Inhale, start to return, and exhale, lower yourself back down slowly with control. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll up and reach. Inhale, start to return, drop the shoulders, and exhale, take it down with control. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll up and reach. Inhale, start to return, and exhale, take it down with control. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll up and reach. Inhale, start to return, and exhale, take it down with control. So that's it. Joe goes to the beach. Okay, moving right along, we can actually get rid of that and come right back to our PowerPoint. So I'm not going to hit play from start again. I learned my lesson. So that was Joe Goes to the Beach, just a few exercises that you could do and kind of making them silly and fun to do with your students. And that is everything I have for you today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Uh, you can email me at meganrocks at gmail.com. I'm on Twitter as Tayback Rocks, Instagram, Tayback Rocks, and you can go on YouTube to see those videos, as well as several partner Pilates videos from my ESP chat presentation, uh, summit presentation from two years ago. I think it was then. Anyway, there's about 22 partner Pilates videos, and I was lucky enough to get my students to volunteer. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.